coming to you from Studio 701, a digital media production made for students by students. Celebrating a special fall holiday filled with mashed potatoes and stewed tomatoes, fresh cranberries and scrumptious turkeys. So unbuckle your belts, Broncos. This is Bronco TV, Thanksgiving edition. Gobble, gobble. Hello, Broncos, and welcome to The Real Bronco TV. Well, McKenna, it's nice to see you back in your lively state, but I must admit I'm a little confused by the costume. It's Thanksgiving. I like, it's, it's festive, but don't you think that's like a little stereotypical? No. All right. Take it away, Currents. High school is all about preparing for the future, and it's that time when seniors are applying for college. I think seniors should start the whole process probably around August. Our applications are due February 1st. We have spent around like six hours or so. Like, like two hours to fill out one, and then you can send it out to like all the schools that you want to do. RB students are looking across the nation as they apply to multiple universities. I applied to UT Tyler in Texas. Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. UC Merced. San Jose State. The big school that I want to go to is Santa Clara. Cal State Fullerton. The UW. UC Davis. To help students in the application process, counselors are readily available in the counseling office. I would say always tell students to emphasize attention to detail. I stress to them the importance of getting involved not only in clubs on campus, but getting involved in the community outside. One way students are getting involved is through the drama department. Each year they perform a fall play for the students. This fall play in question is Pig. The play is about a dysfunctional family that lives in Queens. Jason is very, very tense. Another thing that people don't realize about um, theater is it's not just reading lines and, you know, pretending to be someone. It's much more than that. You really have to search for a relation to the play and your character in order to make a successful show. Although acting is the most visible aspect of theater, just as much work goes into the technical side of the production. We started like uh, three weeks to a month ago, uh, just building the set, and there's someone running the soundboard, someone running the light board, and then two people backstage just to make sure actors are on stage and nothing breaks. The soundboard op is the number one, because if anything screws up, people notice it, but it's a really hard job because you have to get everything perfect. We've been coming in almost every day for three weeks, just nonstop building the set. This is one of the more complex sets we've built in the last uh, last two years. When you have the talent and when you have the dedication and the passion for it, you can transform it to another person and make a great show. Nice job out there, drama. Your thespionage was top tier. What does that mean? What do you mean, what does that mean? You told me to say it. All right. Cross country. Our Broncos cross country team has really hit their stride as they have learned to come together. It has an individual and a team aspect. The cross country, there's top seven, so there's more of like a team. You have to like unify your team. The team's goals are not limited to only San Diego victories. For the girls, hopefully to make it to state this year, get at least third at CIF, and then for the boys as well to make it to state. Molly Grable's personal goals expand all the way to the national level. Well, hopefully for cross country to make it to Foot Locker Nationals. As serious as the team may be about their goals, they always retain a sense of family and humor. We all make fun of each other, we're all really close. A lot of the girls are like my friends outside of cross country, and it's a lot of fun too. This team's real success stems from the legendary coach Dockery and his ability to connect with them. My coach supports me, uh, he always you know, instills confidence in me before every race. He's really sweet and he's always supporting us and giving us good advice. So don't forget to root for your Broncos as they gallop their way to victory and on to CIF. You know what I love about cross country? They start off running and then, you know, halfway through they keep running and then by the end of it they're still running. Jack, that was not funny at all. I know. <laughs> Let's look at the ASB update. Hey Broncos, it's Anna MZ, your 2010 Human Relations Commissioner. The Human Relations Conference will be held on November 17th and 18th. So for all you sophomores out there, get ready to go to the gym on either Wednesday or Thursday, according to last name. The Multicultural Fair this year will be held on December 3rd. All clubs interested in performing or running a booth can pick up forms in room 801. All booth forms are due on November 16th and all performer contracts are due on November 19th. On a final note, Yearbook wants to let you guys know that all Yearbook purchases must be made before the end of January. Now back to you, Jack and McKenna. 
And that concludes this episode of Bronco TV. You can check all of our videos out on Facebook. You can. They're pretty good. I like them. Bye. Bye. What schools do you plan to apply to or have to apply to? You know, like the basic ones, like John Cabot, Pope John Paul the Great. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That just sounds awkward. Party, party, yeah. Like, I've either become like a college rapper, like Sam Adams, or like getting into the real world. So, yeah.